Yes, indeed. Live and direct right here on KEXP, KEXP.org. Thank you for being here, powering all this incredible programming and sessions like this. Right now, I'm in the live room with this band from L.A. I am excited to have you all here because I played you guys a while ago, and me and my producer were like, yo, we have to keep playing this band. Who is this? And I'm just, I'm so glad to have you all here. Larry, thank you for being one of the day ones. Hey, say that then. I'm talking about Cheek Face, live and direct right here on KEXP. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're America's local band, Cheek Face. This is an original Cheek Face composition about the way I feel, entitled I Feel So Weird. I'm at the Jamba Juice. I'm at the Therapist. I'm at the combination Jamba Juice and Therapist. Don't shoot your shot. Hey, are you goth? Yeah, Todd. Something familiar from every day starts to seem alien when you repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. The difference between me and a dog is I'm taller. Think about it. Just think about it. Look, Mom, I'm trying! Face live on KEXP. I feel so weird. That's the name of the song and a statement uh, I can resonate with. Can't we all? That's from 2022's Too Much to Ask. We got another one here from that same record from Cheek Face. The song's an original Cheek Face composition about how you always want to bomb the Middle East, entitled You Always Want to Bomb the Middle East. Portuguese or Korean, but you always want to bomb the Middle East. You 
You always wanna bomb the Middle East On vacation when we could just write a poem or recline In frustration you could occupy the park across the street With a squirt gun but you always wanna bomb the Middle East It's crude, it's rude, it's full of toxins dude It's the underground hero to a special few It ain't broke so don't fix it And never change, no matter what Meanwhile I I'm going back to school. I've been eating mush all week, and it's time for raw food. But he's a ruthless dictator. He's your straw man, strong man. He's taking you to the Cinderella's castle of shame at Disneyland. You didn't start the bonfire of humanities, but you're tossing in our clothes and our humanities. And once a year, we act like we were glad you were born. You always wanna bomb the Middle East on the weekend when we could be cutting grass or eating cheese with your girlfriend. We could learn to read and write in Portuguese. But you always want to bomb the Middle East You always want to bomb the Middle East On vacation when we could just write a pay on a recline In frustration you could occupy the park across the street With a squirt gun but you always want to bomb the Middle East The bonfire of the vanities But I'm tossing in my clothes And my humanity And once a year I act like I was glad I was born You always wanna bomb the Middle East On the weekend when we could be cutting grass Or planting trees With your girlfriend we could learn to read And write in Cantonese or Italian But you always wanna bomb the Middle East You always wanna bomb the Middle East On vacation when we could just write a novel Or recline It's a station you could occupy the park Cheek Face, live on KEXP. This next song is an original Cheek Face composition about being popular and titled Popular 2. Subject verb, I want to be disturbed. I just perturbed the pigeons, now the pigeons are perturbed. Lately I'm rustling like the blinds. I got a lust for life, a life that is inside. Whoppers and cokes. I see someone normal and I make a mental note. Hey, buddy, this is private property. This is private property. This is private property. But you're never ever gonna be alone here in your community neighborhood home. I just wanna be popular to watch in the movie you put up from the camera on your porch. You're across the street, neighbor walks his dog on TV. The future is now unfortunate. If I'm never ever gonna be alone Here in my community neighborhood home Then I wanna be popular to watch In the movie you put on from the camera on your porch Subject line, what's a lawn chair like? Do you ever sit outside getting 69 bug bites? Ask away, is it punk to complain? The salad's mostly iceberg when it should be romaine I fly my drone, I am above your home I see someone normal and I feel less alone. Hey, buddy, this is private property. This is private property. This is private property. But you're never, ever gonna be alone. You're in your community neighborhood home. I just wanna be popular to watch in the movie you put up on the camera on your porch. You're across the street, neighbor pulling weeds on TV. The future is now unfortunate. If I'm never ever gonna be alone Here in my community neighborhood home Then I wanna be popular to watch In the movie you put up on the camera on your porch Hey 
but you're never ever gonna be alone here in your community neighborhood home Woo. I just wanna be pop to watch in the movie and put up on the camera on your porch you're across the street America's local band, Cheek Face, live on KEXP. Well, thanks, Larry, and thanks to everybody listening and working here for having us. Um, KEXP is such an important and special radio station and has been playing us for longer than just about any other station since, like, yeah, before anybody cared about our little band. So it really does mean a lot to us, especially from a station where people play whatever they feel like playing and people listen because they want to hear it. it means a lot anyway uh here's an original cheek face composition about when life hands you problems entitled when life hands you problems I'm always working, but I don't have any money. You're always selling drugs, but none of them are funny. I am holding pimples and disturbing the peace. You are painting signs that say befriend the police. I am dropping out of school to go to the park. If you're the light of my life, why is it always so dark? I don't know anything. You don't know anything. We don't know anything. Together, life has you problems. Big problem is life has you wages. Neither mom wakes the popcorn ceiling. Always hungry, but I don't have any cake. You are always on the plane, and the plane is full of snakes. You are super fun. You're a really nice guy, and I'm a psychological super fun sight. I am yelling, someone's in here from the bathroom stall of life. You are logging onto Tinder, getting zero super likes. I don't like anything. You don't like anything. We don't like anything. Together, life has you problems. Big problem is life has you wages. Minimum wage for popcorn. You must be thinking of something else. Cheek Face, America's local band. Live at last here on KEXP. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. For sure. Um, you were mentioning um, KEXP has been playing you for a while. I think I first came across your single... Listen to your heart, no. Uh, I think in 2020. Okay. Yeah. So I'm curious, when did you guys coalesce as a unit? Uh, so me and Mandy started writing songs together 2017. Mm -hmm. I think we went to the Women's March in downtown LA. Mm -hmm. And after that, we were kind of feeling like the spirit of, I don't know, creating something. And uh, we sat down and started writing some songs. And before long, we had like an album's worth of songs. And we sent them to Echo. And Echo was like... I'll do whatever you want. I'll play the drums with one hand. I'll play keys with another hand. The keys thing never ended up happening. It's a lot to ask. Yeah, yeah. but, you know. But, uh, it's cool that he was game for it. Yeah, though. yeah. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it later um, in the employee review meeting. Uh, and, uh, and that was how the three of us uh, gelled together. And AJ here on the keys and percussion has been touring with us for about a year now. So awesome. That's, that's the story. I love it. So by the time you guys had kind of had that album full of songs and were ready to go, was it pandemic time? Uh, Just about? Well, the first one came out um, like top of 2019. Okay. And then like we started hearing from people, random people on the internet who were like, I like this. When are you going to play in whatever city? Yeah. And we were like, oh, okay. Well, I guess we should go and play in whatever city then. And we went uh, in, what was that? February 2020? Yeah. February 2020 to play in uh, Chicago, New York, yeah. Philly. Yeah. The shows were amazing. We were like, oh, my God, what is happening? Right. Uh, with, like, people singing along that we had never met and had no idea how they found us. And then, uh, then it was pandemic. Yeah, right. <laughs> then, 
No brakes, <laughs> heavy brakes. Right on. Okay, so I remember playing uh, you guys in the beginning, and yeah, it was random people on the internet, but really KXP listeners were like, "What is? I like this. What is this? And it was clear these kids were going places. Um, I love the way you guys... Um, I mean, self-promote sounds pretty crass, but the, the, way, the way you self-promote yourself on the internet, uh, the, the way you comport yourself, your, your tone, if you will, what's kind of the, the, the genesis of that? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I yeah. think uh, I just I got the Twitter handle when we were going to release the first song, and I was just like, let me just go say whatever's on my mind. And I don't know, I guess, you know, I, I love bands. <laughs> I here, love here. music and I love following my favorites and knowing what they're thinking about. And I guess I just put myself in that headspace of like, if I like this band, <laughs> right. what would I want this guy to be saying on the internet? <laughs> it felt very it. apt. Yeah. Word. Um, you have a line in one of your songs, believe. Um, just because it's funny doesn't make it a joke. You guys obviously have heavy comic overtones. You have to say hilarious stuff in your lyrics. You guys... Um, are, are a wonderful, wonderful experience all around. I'm just curious, you know, do you struggle with, like, people trying to lump you into some kind of, like, comic thing? Um, not really. I yeah. think, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's the Frank Zappa album title, Does Humor Belong in Music? <laughs> like, which, like, is a self-answering question when you think about it. Like, humor belongs in music like it belongs in all other parts of life. And, um... I, I don't know. I think like I mean in our in our little uh, our little cubicle of indie rock bands, like it is kind of romanticized to be really sad yeah. and not romanticized to be funny. Like funny is stupid and sad is truth. And I think there's a lot of sad packed into the lyrics. Yes. And the fact that they're funny is just because being sad is kind of funny too. Yeah. What do you think, Mandy? Well, I feel like. We particularly, we made Cheek Face because we really wanted to find joy mm. in a lot of pain. And I feel like when we got together, it was just like Trump had just gotten elected. We were just like, we didn't know what to do with ourselves. And we were like, well, let's put it in songs. And I, I really felt like we wanted to have fun doing that. We didn't want to make it like this depressing yeah. thing. We wanted to get together and actually have some like release. And so it came across with both of those things together. Yeah. I love that. I feel like the joy really transmits. Uh, and yeah, it, it feels like it's that kind of laughter that's laughing at maybe something a little bleak, but, you know, it's to keep from doing the other thing. Yeah. Or, or another thing, yeah, you know. Exactly. So it's, it's, it's really, really welcome. And, you know, I, I, I feel you like sad is often romanticized and we, we look down on, on, on the humor a lot of times, even though I think one is tends to be a little more truthful. One maybe is a little more self-indulgent at times. Pardon why I touched my mic. Um, but you guys remind me of so many classic, very romanticized and beloved acts like, you know, uh, whether we're talking about Devo or Pavement or Jonathan Richmond. I'm just curious, so who are some of the, the, the shared influences and loves that you guys kind of, uh, uh, you know, related around? Yeah, I think, you know, off the first writing sessions that we did together, it was, yeah, Jonathan Richmond, Malkmus, um, Lou Reed, yeah. um, you know, but I think over time more stuff has kind of crept in as, as me and Mandy started to feel more secure about what we were doing. And we were just like, well, anything we like could be part of this. It doesn't yeah. have to be out of this like talk singer tradition, even though we like that. Yeah, our, our influences come through with whatever we were listening to that day, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely it. like don't get hit by a car like Mandy literally walked in the room and was like, can we do something with a Tribe Called Quest type beat? And I was like, <laughs> nice. This is exactly what happened. I was oh, like, I, that. I guess, yeah, sure. Yeah. That's such a conversation because somebody just requested that because it was their birthday. So it's like, yo, happy birthday. That energy just keeps going around. <laughs> what is next for America's local band? Um, well, what's immediately next is we're playing at Barboza tonight here in beautiful Seattle, Washington. The show's sold out, so we're excited to do that. And then... Uh, up to Vancouver to play at Wise Hall and down to Portland to play at Doug Fur. So if you're in the Pacific Northwest type of area, we'll be there. And then we're out in London at the end of June. And then we'll probably make a record in the summer and play some backyard parties and yeah. a wedding reception. 
Maybe, <laughs> I love it. Maybe two. Excited to record. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, I was wondering uh, if we have another album coming uh, since Pro- Popular 2 dropped this yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, I think we're done writing the next album. Um, so I mean, we're we're always writing. Um, so there's always a chance that more songs will get written and the timing will get thrown off a little. But um, but yeah, I think we'll probably have the record done in a few months and um, hopefully have it out early next year. But anything could happen. Awesome. Well, thank you all again for joining us. It's been a pleasure. It's been. Years, I was talking with my producers, like, we got to get Cheek Face. <laughs> it's finally happened. Well, we thank you it. so much for having us. And, and I, I meant what I said earlier. It's just like, you know, DJs like you, Larry, and the other DJs on the station who play us a lot, it, it really blows a lot of wind in the sails here. So yeah. right on. It, Very it's grateful awesome. for, for KEXP. Right on. We appreciate you. Safe travels. Rock the shows. Rock all the faces you see. Uh, Cheek Face, America's local band, live on KEXP. You make it possible that we have bands like Cheek Face in, that we have programming, that we have uh, an incredible YouTube full of fantastic sessions like this. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff to KEXP's YouTube channel. Thank you for making it possible. It's all listener-powered. KEXP, thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.